all this empty filament. But we got free filament in the Da Vinci Jr. It's Filament Friday. Let's print something. So I've taken this $349 Da Vinci Jr. that I've been evaluating and I put it through further testing. And one of the tests I put it through beyond this bearing I printed in the last video was to print the famous Nassau ratcheting wrench. Now I have tried this several times on my DaVinci 1.0 and I haven't had a whole lot of success. It would just fuse together. The ratcheting mechanism wouldn't work. Well stay tuned to see how it turned out on this DaVinci Jr. Here's the Nassau 3D printed wrench. Now they say it's not the first thing 3D printed in space but it's the first time something has been designed on Earth and then sent up to the space station. So I downloaded their .stl file and loaded it into my XYZware on my Mac. Then I clicked on Settings and selected DaVinci Jr. This shrunk down the bed size. So then I just centered it by clicking on Move and then centering it. And then I clicked on Export and chose 50% fill and 0.1 layer height. Exported it, it sliced, and then it was ready to go to the printer. So I tried to film it through the slot in the top of the printer and I got a pretty good view. And I could already tell this was looking a lot better than anything I'd seen before on my DaVinci 1.0. This close-up really doesn't do it justice. So I just kept watching it and the print just maintained top quality. I was, I was thinking this is going to work. And here it is. A working ratchet. It even fits a socket. I'm, I'm so amazed they printed this uh, first print. Now the only problem with this is it only ratchets one way. And there's no lever to switch it like a normal ratchet would have. So you can only tighten with the NASA design. So what I did is I took this design, brought it into Tinkercad, and then I knocked this out so I could remove this and turned it into a hole and then replaced this with insert shafts so now I could flip the wrench over and both tighten and loosen as a ratchet. So here's my final design that I created in Tinkercad. It's got the hole in the ratchet and then I made two inserts to go in that hole. So that's what I printed next. Let me show you how that turned out. I was watching this thing print and I'll tell you it looked better than the first time. The distance around the gear and the, the clip, it was amazing. So I, I paused it just to get a picture. Look at this thing. It's incredible. The quality and the spacing is perfect. Okay, so the new design is done. And here it is with the hole in it. And then here's the insert, and I actually printed two of them. And the reason I did this is because when you print this one, if you print it this way, those lines are, are going across like this. And I've learned from my previous attempts at this when I tried to print it on a 1.0 that that's not strong. This thing will just break right off. So by printing it like this, these are now lines going this way, which is opposite. You know, it's trying to break off this way. And then I printed two of them with the hole. If I ever break this, I can just pull it out slide a new one in. So this will fit. Ooh, fits good. There we go. So now I can tighten. So I push down to tighten and then loosen. Ratchet down and loosen. So I decided to try it on a bolt on my cheap Harbor Freight toolbox. This thing's just bolted together so there's multiple bolts here to try. So first I loosened it then I tightened it just by flipping the wrench. Everything seemed good so then I decided to try the other one. See if I can tighten this thing back up. A couple turns later it was tight. Worked great. So that's it. That was my uh, test print for the Da Vinci Jr. And it passed two Nassau wrenches. And I didn't print this like six times and show you the good one. These were both first prints. 
I'm just blown away by this. I really am. I got one more video I want to do on this and really just give you a summary. There's some things I don't like about it that I, I wish they'd get away from, like the cartridge you know, filament. For different reasons than probably what you think. It's not just the money aspect. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with, you know, the, the definitely the print quality and just, just the, how the whole thing has worked the whole time I've had it. So stay tuned for that next summary video. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. So that's it. That's all I got for now. I'll see you next time.